When a regulatory agency official shows up for a workplace inspection, most of us would simply lead the way, providing the inspector with the requested access. But what if we refused? The 1978 Supreme Court case of Marshall v. Barlow's Incorporated explores one such scenario. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, the federal government's regulatory body responsible for occupational health and safety, was governed by the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 1970. The act allowed for workplace searches to identify safety issues and violations of the act and explicitly stated that warrants weren't necessary for these inspections. One morning in September of 1975, an OSHA inspector showed up at Barlow's Incorporated, an Idaho electrical and plumbing company, to conduct an inspection. When the inspector requested access to the non-public areas of the business, Bill Barlow, the company's president, asked if there had been a complaint. The inspector told him no, but that the company had simply come up in OSHA's selection process. Barlow then asked if the inspector had a warrant. Upon learning there was no warrant, Barlow refused to allow the inspector access to the requested areas, citing his Fourth Amendment rights. In December, the Secretary of the Department of Labor, which oversees OSHA, petitioned the district court for an order granting the inspector access to Barlow's non-public areas. The court issued the order, which was later presented to Barlow, who again denied access to the inspector. Barlow then requested an injunction against OSHA's warrantless searches. A three-judge panel was convened to hear the matter. It granted Barlow's injunction, ruling that the act's authorization for warrantless searches was unconstitutional and that OSHA needed a warrant to comply with the Fourth Amendment. The secretary appealed to the Supreme Court.